Hi, my name's Todd, and what I want to show you today is how I use the profile of one song to apply EQ to the profile of another song. To do this, I'm going to be using Spectrum Matcher and Pink Noise. Spectrum Matcher is a JS effect created by Reaper's own Geraint that does exactly what the name implies. It matches the frequency spectrum of one song to the spectrum of another song. Now, we can do this by directly applying the spectrum of one song, which I call the source, to another song that I call the target song. And then simply use the subsequent uh, filters of the spectrum matcher to equalize the target song. However, one problem with this is that we can't manually adjust these filters in spectrum matcher yet. So what I want to do is match up re-EQ to the spectrum matcher filters. And the way I want to do that is to use pink noise because it makes adjusting uh, re-EQ much, much easier. So to do this, I need the profile of both the source song and the target song. And since I've already got the profile of the source song, I'll get the profile of the uh, target song right now. And what I have here is a song I'm producing right now called Audio's My Friend. So what I want to do is play it to get a profile for Spectrum Matcher. But first, I need to click on the Learn button. Then hit Play. You go your way, I'll go my way. Maybe down that endless highway. I will see you. Walking round the bend We've been friends for so long now You don't have to wonder how Easy loving you Adios my friend Adi Okay, that should be enough. So now we need to hit save. Then click on back. So now I have the profile of my target song. And that needs to be saved, so it can be loaded in a project file I've got set up to do this. And since I've already saved it, let's just go to that project. As you can see here, I have two JS Spectrum Matcher effects up. The top one is the profile I just made for Audios My Friend, and the other is the profile for the Source Song. How this works is, I've got pink noise going to both profiles, and I'm using it as the uh, destination for both profiles. What this means is, I'm using the profile of uh, both the source song and the target song to uh, shape the pink noise, which will create a nice smooth EQ curve based on their profiles. So to uh, show how this works, I'll turn on the pink noise, then uh, hit reset for each profile. After letting it run for a bit, I'll uh, turn off the pink noise. Then click on Correct on both profiles to uh, get our final curves. Then I'll freeze both profiles to uh, lock them in. Now we're ready to uh, set the two profiles up and span. So let's close these. And I'm not going to explain how to set this up with span. There's a lot of info on the net that can explain it to you. So now let's open Span. And I'll turn the uh, pink noise on. As you can see, we have two colored lines, green and red. The green is the uh, source profile and the red is the target profile. So now let's open up an EQ on the target track. To save time, I've already set up the curves to uh, match fairly closely. You can see when I uh, engage the EQ, the spectrum of the two tracks are pretty close. So now let's go back to my mix of Audios My Friend. Open the mastering effects. And again, to save time, I've already added the EQ from our analysis. So I'm going to bypass the EQ and play for a short section without it. And then I'm going to stop and unbypass it and play again.
I think it's pretty clear that the uh, profiled EQ made an improvement. And actually, the original EQ I had for this song is similar to this profiled EQ. I think this could just be the beginning of Spectrum Master, and I really hope so. One of the neat things that I think could happen with this is that users could trade profiles. <laughs> Maybe we could establish whole libraries of profiles. Profiles. 